It's Moser with some hints and tips on your 4C worksheet. This is um, 4C number 6, and we've got some crazy guy lifting 281.5 kilograms off the ground using his teeth. <sighs> so that's the first part of the problem. So it's useful to actually, because you're going to need it later, think about drawing what that would look like. We've got an applied force that he's putting on this object, the mass of which is 281.5 kilograms, and of course there's a force of gravity down on it. Okay, well, now let's get to the real meat of the problem. So in the second part of the problem, we're told that he can hold um, just three times that mass on a 30 degree slope using the same force. Hmm. So what's the coefficient of static friction between the load and the slope? As always, we should start off by understanding the problem. So here's the situation. Now, why is the applied force up the slope? Because he's holding that mass up the slope. doesn't matter if he's pulling on it or pushing on it. The force that he's exerting holds the mass up the slope, therefore it's up slope. Force of static friction will always oppose his motion, therefore it's going to be down slope. Normal force is as usual, force of gravity is as usual. Now remember, in these kind of problems you always have three equations. We've got mu s equals fs over fn, as well as your sum of forces on the y and sum of forces on the x. Let's start with the sum of forces on the y. Is it levitating? No! Therefore, sum of forces on the y equals zero. That's fn minus f of gy. fn, therefore, equals fg cosine theta. And fn equals mg cosine theta. That gives us one piece to plug into our mu s equation. Well, what about the x-axis? It's not moving, we know that, because he's holding it. So sum of forces on the x is equal to zero, and that's handy for us. The other forces on the x, as you look at your free body diagram, are applied force upslope minus force of static friction downslope and force of gravity on the x also downslope. I'm going to go ahead and solve for force of static friction, which is equal to the applied force minus f of g sine theta, or force of static, fr or force of static friction is equal to force applied minus mg sine theta. So the only hang-up here, of course, is this applied force. You've got the mass, you've got gravity. Well, if we come back here, could you figure out the force that he would need to apply just to lift and hold this mass above the surface of the Earth with his teeth? Of course you can. Mass, 281.5 um, kilograms, times gravity. Well, here we're told he's using the same mass, or I'm sorry, the same force, though the mass is equal to three times that of the first mass. I think you can get it from there. Take care.